This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's make a mask. I'm not talking about an opacity mask or a transparency mask. I'm talking about a mask. You know, the kind you put on your face. Well, think about it. It's Carnival, and it's Venice, and you need a mask. Go to Adobe Illustrator and start with a rectangle. Since we're talking about the pen tool, I'm not going to use that tool. In reality, of course, I would use that tool. But let's draw a rectangle. I'm going to click somewhere. I'm going to come over to about here and hold the shift key. That's going to keep everything nice and straight and above board. We're going to come down. We're going to click again. We're going to come over and click again. Try to get right under that spot. See if we can get it. I'm holding the shift key all the time. Now I'm letting go of the shift key and I'm going to click to close the shape off. Oops. Well, no big deal. Pick up the direct selection tool and select those two anchor points. Go into the align palette and center them. No problemo. Let's close that down. Incidentally, I am using the painting workspace. So all these palettes are that way because of that workspace. What do we do next? Well, now we start manipulating. Pick up your add anchor point tool. And I want you to put an anchor point about here. And about there. You got two. Pick up the direct selection tool. Or use the shortcuts if you want to. And select just those two points. And I'm going to use the arrow keys to drag them both down. Now they should be about centered. So if they're not, you can move it back and forth until they're about in the center. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we want it as close to center as we can get it. Now I'll pick up the Convert Anchor Point tool. We're going to come over to this one. You're going to grab it. And you're going to drag it up like this. Something about like that. Now we want to balance the other side. So we're going to grab this side. And we're going to do the same thing and try to get them about in the same position. We want consistency here. That's a little bit off. Let's go ahead and pick up our direct selection tool. Come here, click on this one, bring it up just a little. Something, that eh, doesn't look too bad. Leave that alone now. Come down to the bottom. Use your convert tool. Grab this one right here. And I want you to drag it out. Something like that. We're going to try to duplicate the same thing on the other side as close as we can. How would you do this without eyeballing it like I'm doing it? Use guides. Guides can help you do this, but that's actually not too bad. Go back to the direct selection tool. Select just these two because we're a little bit longer than what I want, and we're going to use the arrow keys to bring them up. We'll stop right about there. Okay, we got that done. I want an anchor point right here now. So we're going to pick up again the add anchor point tool. And click right there. Incidentally, if you're using the add and the subtract and the convert tools, the actual tools, you don't have to have an item selected to add, subtract, or convert. If you try to do all of those things through this one tool, which I like doing, the item that you're working on must be selected. Remember that, or it won't work. We've got that one right there we just made. Let's go ahead and pick up direct selection tool. Make sure it's selected. And we're going to move that one up. We don't have to do much more than that. Just move it up. I'm using my arrow keys, of course. You can see the mask hopefully kind of taking shape. Next step, we should make the eye slits. So we're going to pick up our pen tool and make an ellipse. I'm going to click and drag straight down. Move over, hold the shift key to keep it level. And click and drag straight up about the same amount you drag down. Close the shape off by coming here. Wait for the circle. Click and drag up. All right, let's convert this one into a straight point. Pick up your convert tool and pop it once. Okay, now it looks like we've got a sideways teardrop, I suppose. Let's pick up our add tool, add pen tool. Let's put a point right about here. Once we got that point there, pick up your direct selection tool. We're going to move it down a little bit, and you can use your arrow keys if you want to. And then we're going to crank it by coming to this direction point here. You got to watch where you are, I guess. Let's give it a little bit more of a teardrop shape. That doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and grab it and put it up to about here. Now we need a little bit more of an angle on it. So we're going to go to our selection tool and come over something like that. Let's do this. Hold down the Alt key and drag it over and make a copy. 
We need to flip it. We're going to do it a different way than using a tool. We're actually going to use the transform panel. So I want you to come over here, click this button. And that's the transform panel. Open up the options here and say flip horizontal or flip vertical. We want horizontal. There you go. Move it over a little bit more. Get it where you want it to be. Click on the mask area and give it a color. Da -da 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 Batman. Okay. I know it's dumb. It's stupid. It's silly. But it gives you an idea of how you can use this tool in creative ways. All objects in Adobe Illustrator, whether they're done with these buttons over here or done with a pen tool, are actually simple vector objects. This is the only tool that I know of that allows you complete control over any shape that you want, albeit a, a Batman mask or a Cheshire cat or whatever it is. Understand this tool, work with it, and practice with it. You might really be surprised what you wind up getting.